The need for the preservation of indigenous knowledge and cultural interaction be a part of the contemporary issues dealt upon in a cultural forum organized by the National Museum in Benin City in collaboration with Gote Institute. The innovative was held at Ilangasud Orca in Benin City. The report. The Cultural Interactive Forum, which was tagged Connecting the Dots, Promoting Indigenous Arts in Benin, Strategies for Preservation and Innovation, was organized by the Gote Institute in collaboration with the National Museum Benin City to promote notable ways of sustaining the rich cultural heritage of the Benin Kingdom. The event, which had in attendance the Adult State Commissioner for Arts, Culture and Tourism, Uyi Odua Malaka, Curator of National Museum Benin, Mr. Mike Olai, the State Director, National Council for Art and Culture, Princess Yvie Uwaik Binoba, Prince Patrick Orosaye, among other notable persons in the creative sector. The event kicked off with keynote speeches made by speakers in the forum. They enlisted the need to connect the past with the present to determine the future as they went on to educate the audience in the world of art and culture while receiving contributions from members of the audience. I noticed that in the city, when you see a girl not properly dressed and you approach the girl, if the girl is not checking, you are going to lose your sanity there. <laughs> because she is, you have a, more than 1,000 people that wants to beat you up for correcting a child. We need to be more deliberate about selling what we have in our cultural space. What they are talking about indigenous narratives, meaning that you are zeroing on a particular space. Representative of the Gauthier Institute and other museums also spoke on the essence of the program. We are very happy to be here today to learn about indigenous um, knowledge and indigenous objects and how to preserve them. I think we had a very engaging discussion already, which is about like the political, the social, the economical aspect. To turn the cultural resource industry into a money-making uh, uh, venture, not for government but for the people not just the Benin people, but even the younger ones. And I want to believe that if we can continue like this, we can actually change the world and make the younger people appreciate what museum is all about. And that way, we can actually help grow it. And it was interesting to see diverse opinions, diverse initiatives on how we can go about this. And um, my key takeaway is to keep promoting culture the best way I know. Speaking with BTV News, the Adult State Commissioner of Art, Culture and Tourism, Uyi Malaka, and Curator of the National Museum in Benin City, Mr. Mike Olaito, they described the event as a phenomenal one with emphasis on the importance of preserving the cultural heritage of the adult people and pushing it into the international space. I think that what we have seen here being put together by the Goethe Institute and the National Museum is um, a phenomenal event um, connecting the dots and around the dying art and what we can do to you know um, help to preserve that there's been a lot of conversations already about um, how if we are not deliberate and intentional about preserving our cultural heritage we may soon lose all of that so I'm particularly interested in the, 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 the direction of um, uh, uh, w uh, meaningful ways of working in that space to ensure that we continue to be remain relevant as the cultural um, um, headquarters of the world, if you like. That's our unique selling point in Edu. Um, Goethe Institute strategic partnership is going to help us ensure that we continue to be relevant in that space. Uh, the program centers on is a collaboration uh, work between National Commission for Museums and Monuments. National Museum Benin and the Goethe Institute collecting the dots from Germany and this program has been on for some months now, particularly for the last six months in Benin here. But the, to round it up started on the 25th and up to today we are finishing it and the purpose of this is how to promote our culture, how we'll be able to connect with one another. Living, connecting those who are in, outside this country with those who are in this country and those people outside the country to also know much about our rich cultural heritage, particularly that of Benin. The program, which had been on for about six months and still ongoing, is aimed at connecting people from within the country and in the diaspora on the significance of indigenous arts and culture. Esoa Osemege, reporting for BTV News.